Welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I made an Afro beat with Ableton stock plugins. Now for the beats I actually had to use samples but for the instrument sounds they were all Ableton live or should I call it stock plugins. The beat sounds like this. I'll be skipping through various sections so we can just have an overview of how the beats sound. But if you want to listen to the full beat, you can check the link in the description. So the first thing I had for this song was this loop and the loop sounded like this. So that was the major loop for this song. Then what I did was that this loop that you heard just now, I didn't use it from the beginning. I used another loop to start the song from here and the loop sounded like this. All right, then I added this other loop here. So at the beginning of the song, it was just these two loops, sounded like this. So if I, okay, so if I have the three loops on, let me start from the chorus so you get the full vibe. It sounds this way. So the next thing I added here was the normal conga, but this was much of a quiet conga. So the conga, it sounded like this. So after that, I added another conga and it sounded like this. Then I added this percussion here. So let me increase it. Then I added the normal shakers that sounded like this. Let me solo it. Then I added another shakers here. It sounded like this. And then together it sounds like this. Then I added this metal here, it wasn't really doing much. Then I added snare from the Picorus to just taking out things and make it sound different. So let me solo this snare alone. So everything together sounds like this with the snare from the Picorus. So the next thing was this percussion I added. Yeah. So it sounded like this from the Picorus. Then I added a cymbal, just like a crash. Very simple, then I did another crash again, just to thicken it up. So basically that was the whole percussion. Then I chose a kick 
that was quite heavy. The kick alone sounded like this, just the basic kick. So let me play everything together now. It sounds like this. So this was basically all the arrangement, apart from little variations where I had to take out some kicks and other things. So the next thing I did was to definitely have a progression going. And let me solo that progression. And the piano is E piano basic, as you can see here. So that was the piano that was used. And the progression goes from the La to the Re, then to the Sol, then Mi, then it repeats the circle. La, Re, Sol, Do, then yeah, Mi, then it repeats the circle on and on again. So let me play with the beat so you hear how it sounds. So that's that for the piano. They added another type of piano, and the name is Organ Soft. So you can just search it here on the instrument section in Ableton if you need it. Then that one also sounded like the same progression but different sound. So that was just that for that. Then the two together sounded this way. So the next thing I had here was this pad, and the pad was basically playing the progression with little changes in inversion, but it was the same progression. So I added another pad, and this pad was kind of um, constant. It wasn't playing anything serious than this. Let me just increase the volume a bit. That was what it was just doing. All true. Nothing, it wasn't playing the progression. It was just a chord. So the first pad was Atmos pad in Ableton, while the second pad was analog slow sweep pad in Ableton. And under this one pad, it was just a one note pad. Then it sounded like this. Let me solo it. So everything sounded like this. Mind you, this is just the raw production. During tweaking, I actually lowered some things, tweaked some things to make it sound better. Then, yeah, this is the main motif for the song. And it was just a guitar, and the name of the guitar was Clean Basic Guitar in Ableton. And the guitar sounded like this, or the guitar, whatever. So, and the guitar sounded like this. Okay, let me just, let me just play it with you. And the guitar sounded like this with other instruments. So let me solo it alone, so you could hear. So the next thing I added was this lead vibe that came in during the verse. Okay, let me just start from somewhere here. So that's what it played all through. And this sound is sign noise attack lead. So yeah, I know these sounds are weird, but that was what I used. Then another sweet thing I really liked in this verse was this bell melody. And it was bell brushed it. Man, this sound is actually nice. Let me just play it from the verse so you hear it comes in.
He then added this marine bar that came in from the Picurus here. Yeah. This marimba is basic, bright marimba. You can find it in the sound section. For the chorus, I added this string, and this string came in, in the chorus, and this first string was from second stellar strings. Yeah, second stellar strings, and it came in from here. Yeah. very simple then I added another strings also yeah and this second string was synthetic choir string so this sounded like this let me dwell the two together so you get the vibe So let me play with the other song so you get the vibe. So I did this sweet whistle that came in in the chorus also, and it sounded like this. So let me solo it alone so you could hear. So the next thing here was this vamp that came in the chorus and you know it was a simple vamp. Maybe let me just play with the song first. Now I'll do a quick test, I'll switch it off and on it back so you can see the difference. See how empty it sounded when I switched off that vamp. So that vamp basically was basic sign keys. Yeah, you could check it out. Then the next thing was this um, plug guitar. Okay, the other vibe there. So this is, the name is Palm Guitar. Palm Guitar, it was very, very nice and instrumental in the whole song. So let me solo it alone. Yeah, very nice. And the next thing was this brass. Now this brass was from Analog brass you could also check it out and the brass alone i used it in the intro also yeah then it sounded like this would be in the intro so you could hear something like wow so let me show it alone so you hear the the sound alone So I had this guitar sound, pitch guitar sound also, that came in around the pre-chorus. Let me just solo everything together. Now, it was subtle in the general mix, but if I take it out, you feel the difference. So alone, it sounds like this. So this sound basically was just soft guitar with pitch bend, yeah. So that was what made it sound like that. So everything sounded like this. So 
So the next thing I did was to add another brass sound. Yeah. And this was um, Salt FM3 Brass. I don't know if I use pitch bend, but let me just solo it first. So what I did was that when this sound was to come in, I took out the first one because they were so close, you understand? So they will definitely conflict in the sound. So I took out the first one. So it sounded like this. So that's it. I made it very, very soft too. And the next thing I added was this synth tab. And it was Happy Pulley Lead. That was the name. Let me play it from the pre chorus. So let me solo it so you hear the sound alone. So another thing I had the idea in this verse was um, this synth lead, and it was AR Marty, Marty lead, something like that. So it sounded like this in context. So let me solo it alone. And I added this other sound, this synth leak. Yeah, it was it sounded like this. Let me just solo it alone. Yeah, so that's just all it sounded. It was actually a fuller leak, but I actually trimmed out, trimmed it out because I didn't need other parts. So this was R E R L Marty lead. Yeah, that's the name of that lead sound. So let me just solo it from here. So that's just that. Now moving to the other parts, which was the vox and the ruling, which were the key parts and I actually linked all these songs together. So before then I added this one note. Yeah, it sounded like vox, but it was actually an instrument sound I just saw in um, Ableton Live that I liked. So the name of the sound was Sentiment Shadows. So it sounded like this. Yes. So that it was just there throughout the whole song, you know. So that one was there. Then I added this other vox here. There was a lot of vox in the song, actually. Yeah. You hear that? Whoa. Let me solo it out. Yeah, it was the main vox for the song. Then I had this pad that was off. And the pad name was MPA Harry Pad and So. So it came in like this. You heard that like something swelling in the song. So let me solo it alone. Wow. So together it sounded like this. So then I added another vox here. So with it on, it sounds like this. So another vox I added was this vox here. Let me solo it out. So that was that about that. And I added this crash at the intro. Let me solo it. Yeah. If 
before they added this reverse to the crash. So before they added the reverse to the crash. So it sounded like this. So the next thing here was this rise that I used to pick up to the kick. Very simple rise. Then I added this crash again. So it sounds like this. So I did some other crashes in the song. So you heard that water effects. Let me just solo it. The normal clap. Yeah, the normal flow kind of clap. Then I think there was this rolling and this thumb rolling. Also, sounded like this. Yeah, so let me solo the thumb balloon. So together they sound like this. So you get the vibe. So I added some other effects that came in in certain locations in the song and some other rulings like that. So in this verse, I had this snare hit. So it sounded like this alone. Yeah. It was very subtle, but it had an impact. Then I added this crash here. So that was the rule in there. So we had this chorus rule. Let me solo it here. Yeah, something like that. So let me just play it so you hear the contest. That's just that. Then I had this other effects here. So let me solo it and exaggerate it a bit. So quite similar, but it was just up to. And the last one was this FS crash. Yeah, something like that. So that was just it. I think basically that's the whole song. Just broken down in sections and all of that. So right now, I'll be playing the mixed and master version from the beginning to the end. And that will be the end of this tutorial. So pay attention to some key parts. Mm -hmm.